So, be proud of your new country. It's a great country. Many of you I know have traveled far and struggled to make a new home here in Canada. Your decision meant adapting to a new culture, a new climate, and for many of you, a new language. You are joining the Canadian story, one that you're now quite familiar with after having studied the book Discover Canada and passing your citizenship test. You've learned about the Canadian symbols like the crown, the flag, the coat of arms, and our motto from sea to sea. And of course, being Canadian means a sharing, sharing a common set of values, having rights as well as responsibilities, such as being a full member of the Canadian family and undertaking the responsibility to obey Canada's laws. And as a Canadian citizen, you live in a democratic country where individual rights and freedoms are respected. And thousands of brave Canadians have fought and died for these rights and freedoms. And the commitment to Canada of our men and women in uniform should never ever be forgotten or go unrecognized. And accordingly, ladies and gentlemen, today we have with us veteran Andy Barber. I'd like Andy to stand while I read his bio. Andy enlisted in the Navy at HMCS Donnacona in Montreal in 1951. After completing his basic training, he was drafted aboard HMCS Quebec and participated in NATO exercises in 1952. He served as a crew member aboard HMCS Haida for 22 months during her second tour of the Korean War. After five years of service, he received an honorable discharge from the Navy in 1956. Thereafter, he was employed at Nortel Networks for 30, 30 years, finally retiring in 1986. But after one week of retirement, he became a tax consultant and he worked until 2002. Andy serves as a proud member of the Burl Oak Naval Veterans Association, the Halton Veter Naval Veterans Association, the Royal Canadian Legion Branch 139, Streetsville, Mississauga, and he is currently Vice President and Director of Volunteers of the Friends, Friends of HMCS Haida Association and Secretary of the Korean Veterans Association, Unit 26, Hamilton. Ladies and gentlemen, please join with me in congratulating and thanking Andy for his service to Canada.